This week in the galley, I have a special dish for you. It's a combination ceviche dish of both bluefin tuna and yellowtail. And if you don't have any bluefin, you can go ahead and use bonita, or you can even use yellowfin tuna will work good too. But it has some bluefin. I've been lucky this season catching a few. And I have you here at my house, so welcome to my house. This is my little kitchen. So I'm gonna start this dish for you. So I have in here all cut up different pieces of bluefin tuna and yellowtail. And what I'm gonna do is just put it all right here in this mixing bowl. All we're gonna do is start off with two whole tomatoes all diced up. Then I have a half of onion. Then we have um, garlic. I have two whole cloves of garlic that I minced them up to little tiny pieces. So I got cilantro, which it wouldn't be a good ceviche dish without any. And I got jalapenos to spice it up just another level. And then to go with that, green onions. I have two whole green onions all cut up, little tiny pieces. And then to add something totally different, which I'm sure you've never tried with the ceviche dish, and I did it the other day by accident, I got some bacon. So we're gonna put some bacon right on top of that. Now, traditionally, when you think of ceviche dish, it's all strictly lemons and limes, but all citrus will work to cook the fish so one of the things I like to use is orange. So we got an orange here. Here's some lemon. Now start on the limes. And part of the reason we've been doing so many ceviche dishes is um, I'm listening to you, the viewers. Viewers are telling me you want to see more ceviche dishes you want something easy that you can do. You want some fish that you can make the night before and take with you when you're out on your own boat fishing as an appetizer or a meal. Ceviche is great for that. Make it the night before, throw it in the refrigerator. It's even better the next morning. You can already see the fish changing colors. That tuna and yellowtail is already getting nice and light. The last thing I want to add to this, and I always try to do it at the end, just a little bit of salt. You can use regular table salt. I like to use sea salt. I don't know if it's because the fish came from the sea, but I like sea salt, Put a little bit of sea salt on there. It's a lot stronger than regular salt. And I think it really adds to the flavor. And you just mix that all in really good. At this point, the dish is done. You can eat it just like it is, just like this. But if you can put it in the refrigerator and wait two hours, and let all the juices soak into the fish, this will taste super delicious. Your guests will love it and it'll be great. I can't wait any longer, so I'm gonna take a little bite. So I got just a little, a little corn chip. Take a little piece of fish here, a little yellowtail, a little tuna. Mmm. And taste the bacon too. That is so good. I know bacon. Everybody loves bacon. You don't think of it as a ceviche dish, and I wouldn't put it in every ceviche dish, but this one with the, the tuna and the jack, the yellowtail combined together with all these spices, it really bumps it up. It tastes really good. All right, let's get back on the water, show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. 